Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Hey y'all! Well, it's time to do a variation on a theme, and we're going to be doing a output transformer shootout on a 2A3 amp build. And what inspired this is I have a customer that has prepaid for a 2A3 amp to get built. He bought these little, what are these things? They're the H203S 7 watt Hashimoto output transformers. And he originally had bought them on a suggestion from another builder to use these on a 300B amp. And to me, I mean, I think he kind of agreed. I think he was more, didn't want to deal with mounting them on his current amp. But honestly, I don't think these really are sized big enough for a 300B. They're not rated at the milliamps that a 300B would normally pull. And they also are only rated at 7 watts. And so... I mean, to me, they're even pushing it for a 2A3, but that's why I want to test them. And I'm going to build the whole amp, but I'm not going to drill the holes for the transformers until I test these guys. And what gave me a little pause is they're fairly low inductance, as well as the frequency response curve is saying they go from 45 up to, you know, well beyond hearing range. The main thing is the low end and been using these guys and also did a pair with these and you can see both of these have a fairly large core and i don't know what the henry's are of this or the inductance at 50 hertz or whatever they measure in the unit at you know with a certain milliamps and these are rated at 16 henry's and these are rated at nine so just a little over half of the inductance that these ISOs have. And these ISOs are rated down to 25 hertz. And we've seen the frequency response test with these and these. They both have a really good low end response. So we're going to compare them to these Hashimoto's and to each other. And then we're also going to throw, I've got a pair of these 3.5K 15 watt Ed cores that I had originally used on my EL34 and discovered that the amp actually performs better with a 5K transformer. And so these were left over from that build. And so we have those to throw in the mix. Wish I had more to try. I don't. And so, you know, I mean, I actually do have some 3.5K of the FC30, the big dog, you know, 300B transformers, we might wire into this too and just kind of see what that brings to the table. So, if any of you guys have some other 3.5K output transformers, you want to see how they perform or how they stack up to these, if you'll ship them to me, I'll make sure you get them back in good shape. And it would help viewers kind of see, hey, here's another option. I've personally never used some of these other brands like toroides i've never used toroidal output tr transformers i've never tried those i've never tried lundels which i've heard are really good output transformers but one reason i haven't used those is you have to buy like cans for them because they're super ugly and they're a lot more difficult to mount than just bolting down these ones that have end bells on them which i know that's just me being lazy if they perform better, I should be trying them. But anyway, just have never done that. So that's what we're going to be doing with this 2A3. And I'd hope to have this thing further along, but I got sidetracked with some personal stuff, had a business trip related to the city, and then I finally had enough with my messy house and did this monster purge and threw away just truckloads of stuff that had been accumulating, which is a really good feeling. And replacing some old ratty furniture out in my sunroom and stuff and new kitchen table and, yeah, just trying to deal with that kind of stuff. So that was 
a good feeling to have all that done. So it's time to get back to work working on some of these customers' projects. I've got this 2A3 to build. I've also got a 300B that's going to be using the FC30 nice transformers. And I'm probably going to be using the Hammond power transformers with that kind of upgrade build with some silver wire and stuff and make it a really nice one. And then I've got mono blocks to build. So, yeah, I've got plenty of projects to work on, but I want to get this 2A3 done and do this little transformer shootout. And I thought you guys might like seeing the results of that. So let me get busy wiring up the main part of this amp, which... Hopefully it won't take too long, and then I can start running through these different output transformers and then see what the customer wants to do. I hope these perform at least decently because that's what he's got, and he thought this would be a good project to use them on. And I just want to make sure that they do perform as well as at least like these hay booers do. Because if they don't, then, yeah, he's got to make the decision whether he wants to go ahead and use those or wants to buy a pair of these and make it like my standard 2A3 amp. So, there we go. And this one I'm going to be doing two inputs. Maybe I'll show y'all some details about, you know, making the hole in the side of the chassis for the little rocker switch I use and then wiring that up. It's a, it's a little tricky, but it's not right science. So anyway, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. That helps the algorithm a lot. Excited to get past 20K subs. Ready to get rolling back again on projects and video content for you guys. So until the next video, have a nice day.